Autel Evo 2, the world's first 8K foldable drone. Holy cow! Things you might want to know before you buy. That and more coming right up, so stick around. What's up guys and welcome back to My Drone Chronicles. Now, if this is your first time here, you might want to think about hitting that subscribe button if you like talking about drones or tech or maybe stirring up some conversation about what's coming up or what's coming out. It's all good, baby. Just hit that button down below, like my videos, and you are in like Flint. Moving on. Okay, so before I get into talking about the reason for this video, I just wanted to say that I am just as excited as the next guy about the release of the Autel Evo 2 lineup. Now, I'm not just talking about the 8K drone, which is crazy in itself, if just to think about it, but I'm talking about the whole lineup, because you... First, you got your 8K drone with a half inch sensor. Then you got your pro model 6K drone with a one inch sensor. Then you have your enterprise level drone with a dual camera, thermal, once thermal, uh, which will shoot up to 640 by 512. And the other camera that's in it is the same as the first 8K camera with a half inch sensor. Th that's awesome, an awesome lineup. Now, the thing that makes this a game changer is that the cameras, which you probably heard by now, they are interchangeable and you can change them out yourself. Probably take five minutes, maybe, to switch out the cameras. So, you can go ahead and buy the entry level 8K drone when it comes out because that's the first one that will be released. Then, when the Pro model comes out, you can buy just the camera. Now you'll have a drone, one drone, and you'll have two cameras. You could switch back and forth to get the results you want. Then, when they decide to release the thermal dual camera drone, you can buy just that camera as well. Now you have one drone, you'll have three cameras, you can switch them out yourself, take a couple minutes, and you can do multiple jobs. You can, you know, it, 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 that's the game changer there, buddy. I mean, for a prosumer uh, lineup, uh, compact, foldable drone, this is awesome. It's blowing the competition out of the water for that. Uh, in that respect, this is, this is awesome. This is just, this is what we need. This is what we need to see because you know, we'll get these other guys out there, got to up their game and bring out something better if they can. But right now, this is it. This is the shiznit. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to what you need to know before you buy this AK drone is that I don't think that we're going to get 48 megapixel photos from this camera. Now, yes, the photos are going to be 48 megapixel, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be true 48 megapixel uh, photos. And what I mean by that is, so let's take the scenario. You've got a little half inch sensor, that 48 megapixel camera. Okay, well then you have a one inch sensor in your pro camera that's only 20 megapixels. So you know, you got to start thinking, so why is there only 20 megapixels in this? one inch sensor and 48 in this half inch sensor. Well that's because the one inch sensor is using what I like to call one to one technology and the little half inch sensor is kind of, it's got some fairy dust sprinkled in there. Uh, so let me explain a little further and I'll leave a link in the description below to an article that can explain this a lot better than I can. But your image sensor has a filter on it. It's like overlaid. And what that when it does is it takes uh, each pick for each pixel, it uh, applies color. Uh, you get colors. You get red, blue, and two green colors uh, per pixel. So we'll call them like buckets. Uh, so that those colors 
the little buckets sit on top of each pixel and the light is captured down through them to get your image okay great that's what the one inch sensor is doing now the little half inch sensor is using uh, a Sony IMX586 sensor which has this technology built into it that Sony introduced a couple years ago to some of their sensors uh, it's a quad Bayer filter now what that does in essence basically it takes a pixel and divides it into four so it makes four areas to capture light per pixel so um, think about it it's more likely the sensor is a 12 megapixel camera just like the Mavic uh, Pro original or your Mavic 2 zoom but it has this technology in it that's overlaying four buckets per pixel so do the math 12 megapixel times 4 12 times 4 is what 48 okay so that's how we're getting 48 megapixel photos from there now I am not in any way saying that you're not going to have, get good quality uh, photo or video out of this thing. In fact, I think you're going to get some great photos and some awesome video out of this thing. And if you stick around this channel long enough, you'll probably see some of those here. But enough said about that. All I'm trying to say is don't expect to get the detail out of these photos that you would expect to get if it was a true 48 megapixel camera. That's all. And again, I'm sure that the photos and the video that comes out of this thing is going to be awesome. And you'll have a blast taking them and flying this thing around. I know I will. No, I didn't say that. You know, it's just another way another step in the technology to achieve something that you wouldn't expect to get out of something so small that, that's all anyway if you like what you see here and you like the things i'm talking about let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching later